I get asked about collaboration. How easy is it to work with other people, to work in a team when you're preparing an arts project? I guess it goes back to um, definitions of poetry and playwriting or play making as they call it these days. Uh, poetry is essentially a solo, individual, solitary um, undertaking. It's, it's your reaction to the world or reaction to something that happens individually and immediately. Uh, it may take some time to crystallise it out. But in the end, it's a one-on-one -on -one, um, communication between you and the page, or you and the audience, your audience. With a play, a play is essentially a collaborative process. A play, is, the playwright is only one part of the process and playwriting is 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 um, providing uh, material for other people to spin off uh, add their ideas to expand contract edit um, and therefore there's a there's an entirely different mindset for writing poetry writing plays uh, to write a play, as I've always said, and I always say to young writers, has to begin by being involved in theatre, being involved in the activity of theatre, understanding theatre. When you're um, closely interwoven with the theatre process, then you can start building plays when you understand that the, the great leviathan that you're prodding into action by writing words down. So if, if you're writing a play you are necessarily always already part of a collaborative process. You are at some point going to hand your work over to a director who will work through an actor and pass it on to the audience. Um, it's, it's a deeply satisfying process, uh, but it, it, it does require an ability to let go that isn't there in poetry. You, you always possess the poem in, in poetry. It's always yours. Um, and um, giving a play up, I imagine, is something like giving a baby up for adoption. Um, you hand it over and you keep certain rights to yourself. You, you keep, you reserve the result, the right for uh, the people who are collaborating on it not to alter the words. You have spent a great deal of time coming up with these words. The words are inviolable, but the tenor, the interpretation, the expansion of the piece is down to them. So collaboration is something that I'm used to doing, something that I need to do. Um, I, making a play is not something you can do on your own. So over 50 years of working in the theatre, uh, that is embedded within me. Um, in a piece like Life and Death and Everything in Between, um, it's not quite a theatre piece. It is still a personal expression. Um, and people are working with me to, to help me get it across. Uh, I'm not using the word collaborate, collaborators. 
I'm using the word cooperators, uh, which in itself is a little joquette play on words if you want to think about it. Anyway, my cooperators are really there to enhance the piece uh, through as, as as I project it, as I perform it, um, cooperating and, and bringing it to life. Um, they are working with me. And so I've given, for, for, for people who are working with me, I've given them carte blanche to come with whatever they've got personally. I'm not going to interfere. So um, if, if um, I'm trying w with Julian, who plays Pork Travel, I'm trying to give him the permission to play it in any way he wants. Obviously, I've got a vision, but I, I don't want to, um, I don't want to interfere with what he's bringing to the part. Um, it is uh, very much, very much more a, a a random happening. It will be different on this performance from the next performance um, because everything will happen at the time. The idea with a, a lot of the add-ons like the music um, is that it will be improvised there on the spot and we will cooperate, we will work together to bring it to fruition. Um, it's a sort of a, it isn't quite improvised, but it's a, an improvised event. Um, and I hope the audience will appreciate that they're watching an improvised event, uh, something totally, totally uh, individual. It is and will be unique so yeah if you're coming to life and death and everything in between then come with an open mind come along be prepared to cooperate yourself as an audience you look where you want to not where I direct you to so you you might choose to watch the mermaids or watch some video or um, you may just go to sleep and listen for the words. It's your show, it's my show, it's the cooperator show. All together we will make a show that will be unlike anything you have ever seen before or will ever see again. Mmm, scary. Right, see you then. Bye.